Oh, hello. You may wonder what I'm doing. I got a hangnail. And you may wonder, what has a hangnail got to do with God? Well, it's kind of simple. You ever wonder when you got a hangnail and you're, you'll sit there and you keep hanging in on stuff and it hurts, you know, and finally you keep on picking at it and picking at it, working with it and working with it, and then finally you get enough off or you just jerk it off. And it hurts like crazy, like, oh man, it hurts, why not do that? You know, it's like you get the, con you know, with the consequences of what you do. It's like it hurts so bad. But if you take tools that you can work with, like a pair of fingernail clippers, and you clip it down low as you can get it, and sometimes you get right on the end and you get a pair of tweezers and you pull a bit of it off, then you get a emery board and you can file it. File it down all the way to a smooth with a little part that was catching and hanging. You got it smooth flat again. And now then you drag it on your shirt or whatever and it's, it don't hang no more. And that's how you fix a hangnail. But if you're wondering, what does that got to do with God? Well, it's kind of simple. It's like a hangnail. A lot of people have different problems or issues going on in their lives. And instead of going to somebody you know or anybody in your small group or church or just a good friend to get a little help, you tend to work at yourself. And you just pick at it and you pick at it and you pick at the problem you got. And till finally, you done dug yourself in such a hole or you got, you know, so much time invested in it or so much stuff you got tore up you know, trying to fix your problem, then that's where the pain comes in. You either hurt yourself or you hurt family or friends. You know, and just and it's like you well, how can I fix this? Well if you had started in the beginning and looked here to the Bible or to God more important and just prayed to him and asked him what should I do and I, I promise you if, if you start praying to God and ask to him what shall I do you will feel it down deep inside and you will realize what you need to do to solve the problem or to help you God you know in the right direction and also besides going to the Bible or you know and praying to God you can also a close friend that's just real close to God. Uh, small groups, and you, you, know, you may be involved with a small group. Work with a small group, sit there and pray with them. And Bible studies, and also, you know, your pastor. And just get, get somebody to pray with you. And I promise you, if you start seeking God, and seeking the Holy Spirit for the answers to fill inside you, you'll get on the right path and you'll start going down the right road and it may be a little bit rough and rocky because you're not used to it but the more you seek God and the clearer path you'll have I promise you it'll start getting better and like I said in each video I'll say a prayer for you and then when at the end of the prayer I'll also say a prayer with you if you want to accept Jesus Christ your Savior so the prayer, I'm going to go ahead and start, and I'm going to say a prayer for everybody. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for any individual that's going through any kind of issues, family or work, or just any kind of issues that may be hindering or may be hurting them, Lord God. I pray that you go in their life, Lord Jesus, and just touch them and let them know that they are loved. And any kind of comment, Lord, that they want to put down and want to get, help pray or or just ask for help and ask for prayer. I will continue praying and ask them just to continue seeking you for guidance, O oh Lord God. 
And I just, I pray for, I know there's, there's somebody out there, Lord God, that's, that's worried about a job right now. It's just coming to me, Lord God. And I pray for the individual that's wondering about their job. I pray that guidance and, and peace comes upon you, that something is coming to you. I just feel it in the bottom of my heart. And I ask that the Holy Spirit just comes to you right now. Amen, amen, amen. And then the second prayer, if you would like, you would like to come closer to God and you would like to accept Jesus as your Savior. It's like I said, it's a very simple prayer. And all you got to do is just ask God and, and just ask Jesus in your life and accept Him as your Savior. And ask to forgive Him for all your sins. And just seek Him. Just continuously seeking the Holy Spirit in your life. And it's very simple. Because once you ask God in your heart, and you ask, you know, to be forgiven for your sins. That's it. You're you're with God, and then you start with the path of, you know, walking in the path and all that. You'll be able to get stronger in your faith. And like always, I'm in these videos. We love you, and God loves you too. Goodbye.